I made a video for predictions for the AFC Divisional winners. Now I'm going to be doing predictions for the NFC Divisional winners. If you forgot, the NFC North, the Vikings won, the NFC East, Philly won, the NFC South, Tampa won, and for the NFC West, it was the 49ers. Now people were predicting that there would be four or five on this talk show I watched four or five new divisional winners this upcoming season out of the eight divisions i think that's pretty extreme pretty aggressive my prediction is that there's only going to be two or three new ones for the afc i only think there's going to be one new divisional winners and for the nfc i think there's going to be two starting out with the nfc north you got the vikings who won it last year and i'm telling you now they're not going to repeat they won 11 one score games had a ton of comebacks everything kind of just worked out in their favor until the playoffs they kind of got exposed as they lost a one score game at home to daniel jones and the vikings but their season going 13 and 4 was just kind of everything that could have gone their way went their way luck was in their favor and there's no chance that happens again either the lions win it as they're projected to and the lions have a great season or the packers i think would be the next best team to win the division now don't get me wrong the vikings aren't the worst team in the world they'll still be able to maybe win eight nine games maybe ten but i just don't see them winning more than ten they have a really strong offense still kirk cousins great quarterback one of the better quarterbacks in the league easily throws for 300 yards almost every single game has a lot of experience in the league and obviously justin jefferson one of the best probably the best wide receiver right now in the league really strong offense but defensively i think that's the biggest problem for the vikings i don't see how you can turn around from being one of the worst defenses in the league not even being able to stop daniel jones at home to being the defense that can compete and make it into the playoffs and compete in the playoffs and keep your team in games defensively they just don't have very much going for them. They don't have like a bunch of new names on their defense. I know they hired a new defensive coordinator, Brian Flores. I know he's more of an aggressive defensive coordinator. He's going to run more blitzes, get more pressures for the Vikings defense. And I think he's going to improve their defense, but I don't see him taking it to the next extreme. I think Brian Flores could take the Vikings defense far, just not in one offseason. Moving on to the Chicago Bears, I personally think that the Chicago Bears are one of the most overrated teams right now in the NFL, and I think that's mainly due to Bears fans. Bears fans, every time I've seen them talk about the upcoming season, anywhere on social media, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, all Bears fans have talked about the potential of the Bears making it to the playoffs or winning the division, and I just think that's absurd. I don't know where this blind confidence is coming from from Bears fans. There's no way the Bears go from barely winning three games. I know there was a few close games at the end. The Bears couldn't get it together and they lost. But that's part of winning. That's part of good football teams. You know, Patrick Mahomes is so good because at the last second, he's able to get it done every single time consistently. The Bears weren't able to do that last season. I know some of it was unlucky, but they only won three games. Going from the worst defense, worst offense, three wins to the playoffs my mind would just be blown. In the Packers, I personally think that the Packers will be better than the Vikings because the Packers have a pretty solid defense. I believe they were ranked 15th last season, a lot better than the Vikings, I believe 30th. And the Packers with a solid defense and a lot of offensive weapons, if Jordan Love can go in and play decent ball, the Packers, I believe, will be able to win a decent amount of games. That's why I think maybe Jordan Love comes in and he's great who knows he has to follow up two hall of fame quarterbacks so it's going to be interesting to see how that pans out nevertheless i think the packers will be a stronger team than the vikings this upcoming season just because of how much stronger their defense is it doesn't matter though i had the lions winning the nfc north if they lose the nfc north then i don't care this is a prediction that i will go down with because there's just looking at this team looking at the roster how they played towards the end of last season how they came together there's no way the Lions don't win the NFC North. And if they do lose the NFC North, then they sold extremely hard. For the NFC East, now I know this team was one of the better divisions last season, but I'm not really worried about this division, or rather, I don't really think this division is like one of the best divisions in the league. I know the Cowboys and the Giants both won a lot of games, but neither of these teams, I feel like if my team were to play them, I would be really worried just because Dak Prescott, so inconsistent. And for the Giants, Daniel Jones, also barely inconsistent. Both these teams have pretty good defenses, but I feel like offensively, they're fairly inconsistent. And I would just would not really worried about them. I don't really see the Giants or Cowboys as possible like 
deep playoff run or Super Bowl contenders. And for the Commanders, I feel like the Commanders are kind of in the same boat as like the Giants. Not maybe as good, but again, the, the Commanders have a pretty underrated defense, a pretty solid team. Just I just don't see that team going very far either. The real team in here is obviously the Eagles. There's no way the Eagles don't win this division. The Eagles are gonna again, I think, gonna go far in the playoffs. The best team from this division by far, the Eagles should easily win the NFC East. Next up, the NFC South. Now, Tampa, no way Tampa wins this division again. I believe Tampa will be the worst team in the NFC South. I believe it's going to be a toss-up. It could be the Panthers. I could see the Falcons winning it or the Saints. It's honestly, to me, kind of like a random guess. The Saints could be good with Derek Carr. Pretty solid defense. Not the worst in the league. The Panthers, I know the Panthers kind of seem like they're not going to be a very good team, but we saw how they can run the ball last season. Again, they have a pretty solid defense as well. If Bryce Young can perform, I can see the Panthers winning this or the Falcons. They're going to have a super strong offense, a super strong run game. They're not going to have very much of a defense, but that's just how Atlanta's been. If they can score enough points where the defense doesn't matter, then who cares? I'm going to pick the Panthers to win the division. I think it might backfire in my face. It might be unlikely. People might disagree with me. And even I agree, it might be a little bit of a crazy prediction. But that's what I feel in my bones and what my gut is telling me. I'm picking the Panthers to win. If the Panthers don't win, my guess would be that New Orleans wins. But I could also see Atlanta win the division. I feel like the Saints probably have a better chance, though, than Atlanta. And lastly, the NFC West. Cardinals, 0% chance they win the division. The Seahawks have a little bit of a chance. I like the Seahawks. I really like Geno Smith. Defensively, and their run defense especially, a little bit worrisome, but now they have Devin Witherspoon in the secondary matched up with Tariq Woolen. So Seattle might be a little bit of a scary team to look out for. And the 49ers, obviously the clear favorite, and I'm going to pick the 49ers to win the division. I mean, just obviously a stacked defense, and offensively they can win with any quarterback. Just shows how good their system is, how good their coaching is, how good their whole offensive plan, and just team. The 49ers are just killing it right now would love to see them go back to the super bowl and then lastly in the nfc west is the rams and the rams that kind of iffy on because they won the super bowl kind of got lucky a little bit last year obviously it was a disaster now stafford will be back i'm thinking the rams are going to be middle of the road i don't think they're going to win near as many games as they did two seasons ago but i don't think they're going to be as bad as they did last season i'm looking at the rams maybe nine and eight just an average season would love to see stafford do super good again but I don't think it's gonna happen. So to recap, in the north, I had the Lions. In the east, I had the Philadelphia Eagles. In the south, I'm taking the Panthers. And then in the west, I'm taking the 49ers. So only two new winners overall out of the AFC and NFC. I think there's only gonna be three new divisional winners out of the eight winners. I don't think that's too crazy. I think the predictions that I saw that were four or five new winners were a little bit too extreme.